Matt Amateur tries to solve an IMO problem. Special episode by hashtag MathMadeEasyPH. Hello and welcome back to my channel. And this is my first video for this year 2021. And today in this video, I will try to solve an IMO problem. A certain problem that is from last year. Specifically, problem number two. So, but before that, I'm gonna show to you a brief introduction that what is an the IMO okay the IMO or the International Mathematical Olympiad is the worldwide championship mathematics competition for highly mathematically skilled high school students that is being held on a different country every year it is the most prestigious and the most difficult contest among all international math competitions combined. It is participated by more than 100 countries with one team from each country composed of six most elite math wizards plus one team leader, one team deputy leader, and observers. The IMO contest paper has six questions with seven points each, a total of 42 points. The content of these problems ranges from extremely difficult algebra and pre-calculus problems to problems on branches of mathematics not conventional, conventionally covered at school and often not at university level either, such as projective and complex geometry, functional equations, combinatorics, and well-grounded number theory, of which extensive knowledge of theorems is required. So here is our problem of today. The real numbers A, B, C, and D are such that A is more than or equal to B and B is more than or equal to C and C is more than or equal to D and D is more than 0 and A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 1. Prove that quantity A plus 2B plus 3C plus 4D times A raised to A times B raised to B and C raised to C, D raised to D is less than 1. Before we will solve this problem, I'm going to show you some tips and strategies that I use of how I solve this problem. So I have four of them here in this slide. So, number one, observation notes. We must first observe the inequality so that we can guess the properties of the given inequality. In solving problems like this, observations and making goals or wishful thinking are extremely necessary. Number two, take your time. You don't need to be rushful in solving this kind of problems because the given duration for this problem is 1 hour and 30 minutes. But deep creative thinking is very necessary and extensive knowledge of theorems may be necessary as well for you to attack and to totally penetrate the problem. Number 3. Knowledge on basics are vital. If you master basic mathematical lessons such as algebraic manipulation and topics you've learned in your class, this problem may be easier for you than you think. Number four, do not be discouraged. Most of all, do not be discouraged if you have a different approach on solving this because no math problem that has one solution only. There is always another way around. The important thing is that you've shown your foolproof solution of how you solve this problem. So let us proceed to our solving proper. Okay? So let us recap the problem first. So, of course, we need to observe it. Just like I mentioned in the previous slide. So here are my observations. My observation number one. The following inequality is the product of two inequalities. So I can so I can see here that that 
For example, this quantity is also an inequality. Well, this one is also an inequality. So therefore, I can say that this is the product of two inequalities. So number two, the inequality is less than one. Okay, that is pretty obvious right now. So here are my goals based on my observations. Okay, in order to achieve the form and the property of the inequality, we must first find the limits of each term of the given inequality. After that, we will multiply the terms and its limits to show that the given inequality is true. Okay, so let us proceed. Ito na. This is the proper of the problem solving. So please bear with me as I try to solve this problem. Okay? I hope you will learn something new here. If you're a math wizard here and aspiring like me, you can watch this video and try to solve with me. And here is my solution for IMO problem number two. Okay, solution. Let us find the limit of A raised to A, B raised to B, and C raised to C, D raised to D, and let us impose a stricter condition for the given inequality. Okay, so let 1 be more than A, and A is more than or equal to B, B more than is more than or equal to C, and C is more than or equal to D, and D is more than 0. And A, B, C, D is a positive real, are positive real numbers, but at the same time, they are not integers. Okay, it is obvious because this is, obviously these uh, variables cannot be a negative integer because as we can see here, it, these variables are more than zero. Neither, neither as a positive integer because these variables are less than one. Okay, so let us make a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d as f sub a, b, c, d. So we will make the whole inequality as m sub a, b, c, d, okay? So after that, since a is more than or equal to b, and b is more than or equal to c, and c is more than, equal, more than or equal to d, by symmetry, it is true that f prime sub a, b, c, d is 4a plus 3b plus 2c plus d, and it and it is more than or equal to f sub a, b, c, d. So what, so I did, what I just did here is that I just reversed the order of the coefficients from the original f and make it as f prime, like this, okay? So, so we have also have m prime since we have f prime now. So m prime is more than or equal to m sub a, b, c, d, but and at the same time, m prime sub a, b, c, d is less than 1, okay? I just forgot to put less than 1 here, but it's fine, okay? So, we will combine m prime and m, so, so we, it will be like this. So, m prime sub a, b, c, d plus m, um, m sub a b c d will be like this and we and we just add the uh, the one so one plus one is equal to two and we will just we add the terms like this and after that next step we will just simplify it simplify simplify and by the way a plus b plus c plus d is equal to one that's why there's no a plus b plus c plus d here and after that this is the limit of a squared, b squared, I, a, I'm rather, a raised to a, b raised to b, and c raised to c, and d raised to d. So this is the limit. So the limit is two-fifths. Okay. So since we already found the limit, we will find the limit of f sub a, b, c, d by using my favorite inequality, which is cauchy squartz inequality. So this is the form. It is really a wonderful inequality for me. It is really beautiful. And after that, we will substitute it with the, the terms and the coefficients of this expression. So, 
here we put the numerical coefficients of this expression so 1 2 3 and 4 and I'm I squared it and after that I put the literal coefficients here and I also squared it and after that the I put the whole expression it and I squared it and after that we will simplify so as you can see here if we just add this squares it become 30 and as you can see here it is different right now because I use the AM GM inequality of course for convenient purposes okay and also to find the limit because if you don't yeah, it could be another way around. But for me, I'm just gonna do the AMG inequality for this one. For now. Okay. So, after that, I simplify. So, I square root these both sides and become 2. Um, 2 times square root of 30 times ABC. I mean, 30 times the square root of ABCD. And, and it's more than or less than a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d so obviously this is the maximum limit of a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4 wait a minute we're not done yet we have another one wait we are not done yet because we will also find the limit of this term the the em in gym inequality version of this term so the geometric mean rather so we will find the this the limit of this one okay so and after that we will simplify and this is the answer that is the limit of 2 times ra times the square root of 30 times the square root of a b c d which is less than 5 over 2 okay or 5 halves okay so as we obtain the limits of sub a b c d okay it is becoming obvious at equality of okay after that we will do the checking okay let us check so the inequality and after that tada okay so here as you can see here I use the 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 limit of the the 2 times the square root of 30 times the square root of a b c d because that that is also true though if we can go back here this is the limit right this is supposed to be the limit but since we're just also since we are also find to the lim find the limit of this one it is also equal to five halves as well so so we just multiply it and it's become one so easy right yun lang siya so therefore so so it's becoming obvious that this inequality is true so therefore for all a b c d are that are positive real numbers are and are not integers m sub a b c d is less than 1 if and only f sub a b c d which is um, less than or equal to 2 raise okay okay so, I mean 2 times square root of 30 times the square root of ABCD is less than 5 halves and a squared times I mean a raised to a B raised to B C raised to C D raised to D is less than 2 fifths when 1 is more than a and a is more than or equal to b and b is more than or equal to c and c is more than or equal to d more than 0 and a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 1 that's the answer that's this is easier than I thought actually this problem solving thing just took me less than an hour to figure it out I thought this is hard but but because I'm really practicing doing this, doing this stuff, do, doing this um, inequality stuff, the the functional, the Olympiad stuff, it the the light starts to shine on me, so it's becoming easier. So, anyways, that's the end. This is the end part.
So, so thanks for watching. And if you like video content like this, please let me know on the comment section and subscribe. And don't forget to like this video. So see you soon. And I hope um, you like this video. I hope this is helpful for you. And this is my solution of problem number two. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.